How do we begin to recite the Quran professionally? Oftentimes, many people come up to me for their kids, especially, on how they can recite the Quran in front of the audience, in front of people, and to take the Quran seriously in that manner. The advice I give them is to listen to the Quran a lot. And I mean so much that it becomes something that you eat, breathe, sleep, it consumes your life. And the reason I say this is because the more you listen to it, the more your ears get trained and it's best to learn this through listening because it builds this memory within ourselves where when we begin to start reciting the Quran, we can trace back and reference all the recitations we've listened. For example, when you listen to the Quran, you should take the time uh, to understand what the verses are being recited, how they're being recited. And the way I recommend this is by listening and opening the Quran to the page which the reciter is reciting and to spend time to see how each line, each word is recited. Now, the other thing which is important is to understand our own limitations and abilities as a reciter. And the best way we can do this is literally by practicing a recitation. Now, for example, I always recommend there's many top reciters in the recitation world which you can listen to. For example, Minshawi, Mustafa Ismail, uh, Abdul Basit, Khalil Husari. These reciters are the dons of the recitation world or the standards which many go by. And the best way you can do this is by listening to one of these recitations and spending time to see and analyzing this. How do we do, do this? Well, there's many things. For example, when it comes to Tajweed, we take the time to understand how they're reciting, how each emphasis that they put on each word, each line, voice, what's happening with their voice when they're reciting, when do they go up high, when do they go low, and recording all these instances and literally opening up a book and writing down, okay, why are they going up at this uh, moment in the recitation? Another thing is the melody. This is a big thing, of course. The biggest I will always emphasize is Tajweed because nothing is more important than reciting the Quran properly with clarity in pronunciation and following the Tajweed rules. But of course, voice, sawt, and melody is important because this helps and enhances the recitation. Now, as I was saying, you spend time, you open up a book. From this moment to this moment, he's reciting this melody. Okay, maybe five minutes in, he changes into something else. And you build this understanding of the more you listen, the more you understand why, how these melodies are changing. Now, the best way to imitate the recitation, you may find a recitation that's 40 minutes long, and you wonder, okay, how do I exactly imitate this? The best way to do this is you spend, you break the recitation into parts. For example, from the first minute up to the fourth minute to the eighth minute to the twelfth minute you break this into parts and you literally imitate based off the recitation within that duration once you begin to think okay i think i have a good handle on this then you move on to the next portion of the minutes the four minutes the five minutes which you break it into and then to the next and then to the next after you feel like you have a good grasp of it you try to record yourself after you've listened to the recitation maybe 50 times, 100 times, you then listen to the recitation one full time completely and then record yourself reciting those same lines from the same passage and then listen to it. Because the moment you listen to it, you have your own experience of, okay, I'm listening to my own voice, how do I sound? Because there are things which we will never pick up just by practicing. The best way is once you practice, you record yourself and you give your chance the ability to listen to the recitation and to make notes, okay, I could have done this better, how closely is this part to the actual reciter? And another way is to actually give it to someone else to listen to, where the truth is some people have stronger ears when it comes as we call the musical ear because you have the ability to pick up on certain melodies or tones which others may not necessarily. So this is another way of improving our recitation. 
The other thing which I will always recommend is um, to always look at the Mus'haf and to look at the the uh, Tajweed. I cannot ever emphasize this enough because oftentimes the sound or the melody or the voice overtakes the importance and spending time to look at the Mus'haf and understanding what the Quran is saying, especially if Arabic may not be our first language, it's essential to understand that what we are actually imitating and reciting is something important as well as what the actual meaning of the Quran is.